Hey guys, it's Donald Wombat here, and today in this video, we've got some Destiny April update action, and we're gonna be looking at the Crucible guns and the Vanguard guns. Now, if you didn't know, in this update, all of the guns got re-rolled that are for sale at the Crucible and the Vanguard Quartermaster. So we're gonna be going through all of them, looking at which ones have good rolls, which ones you maybe wanna try out, and which ones are absolute ass and to stay away from. So, first things first, we'll look at the Crucible Quartermaster guy and see what he's got for us. So, the auto rifles that he's got are the Deal Breaker, which has actually a pretty good roll on it. Uh, crowd control and counterbalance is good. Um, it doesn't have, I mean, it's got brace frame, which is not bad for an auto rifle, but in my opinion, the Harkey auto rifles just fall behind a bit. But it's definitely, it's not a bad roll. Um, for an auto rifle. Also, the Antipodal Hindsight has quite a good roll on it with Hidden Hand and Rodeo, and also has a bit of stability in the middle there. So both of those auto rifles are not bad, um, but at the moment, the only auto rifle you probably really want to be going for is a Doctrine of Passing. Now, probably the best uh, roll in this Crucible Quartermaster is this Hawksaw, which has an absolutely amazing roll, which has counterbalance and small bore and fitted stock on it. So it's pretty much gonna be max stability, and with that counterbalance, it's gonna be even more stable. And not to mention the Hawksaw is a really, really strong gun for all of the Taken King, and even even more so after the you know the reworking of the weapons in this update. So I'd really recommend you give that get that bad boy and give it a try out. Uh, the last extremity is another one of these good PvP scout rifles. Um, it's it's pretty good. Uh, it's got a pretty good roll. That triple tap is always good for those slow firing uh, scout rifles because they're pretty easy to hit those crits with. And Zen Moment is not a bad perk as well. Um, the Byronic Hero, I've never really at all been a fan of the Byronic Hero. It's not terrible, but there are just a lot better hand cannons out there. And it doesn't really have that good of a roll on it, if I'm going to be honest, with uh, Luck in the Chamber and Underdog. And the middle perks are pretty average. But yeah, I try it out. Now, this fusion rifle here, the old Panta Ray, has a really good roll. Um, yeah, knee pads and rangefinder are really, really good on you know any special weapon. Well, obviously not, a sh obviously not a sniper rifle, but a shotgun or a fusion rifle. It's really strong. It doesn't have amazing uh, middle perks. It's got a bit more range, but you don't really need the extra range in the middle there because of the rangefinder. It would have been even better if it had stability or a charge rate, but. Uh, it's, it's charge rate's not terrible, and its impact's pretty high. So that's that's going to be a pretty good fusion rifle if you if you want to try out a fusion rifle. Next is the shotgun, the next big thing. Uh, next big thing is an okay shotgun, but it's not amazing because it doesn't have super super high impact. But this is not, this is not a bad one. Full auto and crowd control is good on a fast firing uh, shotgun, although it doesn't have any range perks in. Uh, in this middle tier or outer tier of perks. So that's a little bit shit for a shotgun. You always sort of want a bit of extra range there. And the barrels are pretty average as well. But I mean, it's, yeah, up to you guys. Havoc Pigeon is a really good sidearm, but this one doesn't have that good of a roll. Um, reactive reload's good on a hand cannon, but you sort of need a uh, quicker reload speed perk as well. And um, yeah, quick draw is good for a sidearm, but it, yeah, I'd, I'd probably steer clear of that one. It's not that good. Okay, so the Tao Hua Yuan, or however you say it, has a terrible roll for a sniper rifle. Uh, spray and play is good for a, a high rate of fire one, but it has the ambush scope, which is good at the moment, which is uh, not a bad scope, but I wouldn't get this one. It's not, it's not a good gun. It's, yeah, it's average at best. You're gonna get better sniper rifles. The Ruin Wake has a really good roll on it for an auto heavy weapon. You know, you can get max stability plus a little bit of extra, and it has rangefinder. Really good machine gun if you don't have one already. And the Smolder is a really bad rocket. Uh, even though it has tripod, I'd steer clear of this one because it has a really low blast radius and really low velocity for a rocket. There are almost every rocket is better than it. Okay, so now we're over here at the Vanguard Quartermaster, and we're going to have a look at the guns, which, well, it's a robot, so it has on offer. So, auto rifles. The answering cord is, uh, it's not a bad auto rifle. It's probably the first gun that I ever really leveled up, and cirrhosis are usually pretty strong at the moment. Uh, the only bad thing about it is it doesn't have very good stability or any stability upgrades. 
But uh, spray and play is not bad on an auto rifle. High caliber rounds is annoying, and single point slings are pretty good perk all round. But it's, yeah, you could get better rolls than that. It's not amazing. The Questing Beast is a very, very bad auto rifle. Uh, you will probably not ever see anyone use this because it's bad, and yeah, I'm not even going to talk about it. Don't get it. Now, the Apple of Discord has a really, really, really good roll with Head Seeker and Counterbalance and, uh, you know, a little bit of extra range or a snapshot, but I uh, just can't get around Harkey guns at all. They just don't feel right. And even this one with uh, with the extra extra projectile with a burst on Harkey Pulse Rifle, it just it makes it feel weird. Um, yeah, I mean, try it out if you like, but I really, really don't like Harkey guns at all. Uh, not like the others, is a pretty good scout rifle, pretty well balanced, has all around, uh, all around good stuff. Uh, this is not a great roll on it. Um, you know, a kill with the final round is really rare that that's going to happen. It has bad middle perks, and third eye's a good perk, but it, it just doesn't have anything else there for it. Uh, the down and doubt hand cannon with uh, triple tap from Mulligans, probably a, a pretty good PvP gun. Um, it has good stability. The only bad thing is it has really poor range, uh, like really, really poor range. But um, yeah, it's not a terrible roll. If you need a hand cannon, that's not a bad one. Uh, Longfire Gorn is probably uh, probably the highest charge rate fusion rifle of this, of the Taken King at the moment. And this one with the accelerated coils makes it even better. Um, Hidden hand, I don't really know how that works on a, a fusion rifle. And hot swaps, okay. The bonus accuracy is sort of a little bit the same. Like, what's accuracy on a fusion rifle when you're pretty much just spraying it? So, it, like, it's a good fusion rifle and it has accelerated coil, so it's probably going to outcharge anything else. But, you know, with pretty, pretty poor range and pretty poor stability uh, on this roll in particular, it's probably not the best. Okay, the Jabberhucky sidearm. Um... I mean, yeah, it's an okay roll, but I feel like the strongest rolls on sidearms are ones that, you know, you reload quicker after a kill or you reload quicker after a precision kill because you just, yeah, you need need to be reloaded again because it pretty much takes a whole clip to get a kill. So Battle Runner and Crowd Control is okay for a sidearm, but yeah, without any speed reload perks, it's, uh, it's yeah, it's not going to be the greatest. Okay, the old conspiracy theory, everyone's favorite shotgun. And this is another really, really good roll. Um, performance bonus is always great on a shotgun. And this one has a good range bonus here with reinforced barrel. And I think you can get a little bit more out of it with soft ballistics as well. I don't think you can quite get it to max range for a shotgun, but uh, you can get it to very high range. And the, uh, the life support is actually surprisingly good on a shotgun. So, I mean, it's only a chance to start regening health, but every now and then you're gonna get tagged up by someone and finish them off with that shotgun and it's gonna immediately start the regen for your health. Um, and you know, when you're up close and personal with the team, that health regen, you know, it, it's gonna save your life a few times. So this is a really good roll on a shotgun. Uh, probably not quite as good as the one that you get from the quest, but still really good. Now, the best gun from the old Vanguard Quartermaster is this thousand yard stare, which is just absolutely amazing. So, you know, first thing first, it has the ambush scope. Now, a lot of, in, in the previous meta, everyone was going for the short gaze, and short gaze is still a good scope, but it's gonna be sort of hard to tell between ambush and short gaze, which is now the better one because of uh, ambush getting a, a bit of a nerf. Um, so it'll be, you know, it'll probably be a couple of weeks before we really see which is the better better gun, but ambush, or the better scope, I mean, but ambush is really strong. Now, underdog, I mean, it's a good perk on a sniper. It's not amazing. Um, that increase to handling is is really, really handy. You know, like if you're aiming down sight and you get tagged by another sniper, that increase to handling um, gives you a, you know, a massive, a massive, uh, you know, chance of getting them with the reload and the ADS and all that sort of stuff. So that's really good. I really like armor piercing rounds on sniper rifles because of, uh, you know, just that chance to get collats. It's just a little, you know, always in the back of your mind, oh, I'm gonna get a collat here, I could get a collat. Uh, the other two the other two middle perks you wouldn't use, you'd use armor piercing. And uh, unflinching is a really, really strong perk on any sniper rifle. And for, yeah, for this one to have that, it's, uh, it's making this a really, really good gun. Unflinching is probably, you know, number one perk you know, maybe apart from Hidden Hand, but they're both really strong. Um, so yeah, I, if you need a sniper rifle, get that yard stare. Uh, the Deluvian, um, I'm not even gonna look at it because it's a terrible, 
it's a terrible machine gun. Like, just look at that range. Uh, you don't want that gun. And the Corollaric Dragon is... <sighs> it's the same. You, you don't want this rocket launcher. It just has... Look at the velocity. Like, you can fucking walk faster than that velocity is going to get to you. Like, it's just absolutely trash. Um, so, steer clear of that one as well. But yeah, anyway, that is going to wrap up this video looking at all the new weapons from uh, the Vanguard Quartermaster and also the Crucible Quartermaster. Uh, the definite highlights are the Yard Stair, 1000 Yard Stair from the Vanguard Quartermaster. It is uh, really, really good. Um, and the Hawk Saw from the Crucible Quartermaster, which has, you know, max stability and is a really, really strong gun at the moment. I, you know, apart from all the other ones there, I just recommend you, uh, you get those two guns, those two rolls on those two guns, and just give them a try out because they're really, really good at the moment. And I think you'll have a lot of fun uh, using them and do quite well. But anyway, that is going to wrap up this video from me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments section what your, uh, what your favorite gun of this new update has been or new roll or if you've got any godlike guns. Uh, just let me know because, you know, I'm still learning, still finding out what's good and what's not good. And yeah, let's learn together. I've been Wombat and I'll catch you guys later.